Okay, what if the biggest mysteries in cosmology, you know, from spinning galaxies to the entire structure of the universe, what if they aren't separate problems at all? What if they're all just clues, all pointing to one incredible invisible reality? Today, we're going to dive into a really fascinating theory from author J. Alfred. He suggests that our universe is built on a kind of ghostly template of what he calls dark plasma. So let's pull back the curtain on this invisible universe. But before we get to Alfred's pretty radical solution, we first have to really appreciate the scale of the problems we're talking about. These are the cosmic head scratchers that literally keep astronomers up at night. So first up is this maddening problem of galaxy rotation. See, when we measure the spin of a spiral galaxy, we find that the stars on the very outer edges are moving just as fast as the stars near the center. Now, based on all the matter we can actually see, every star, every cloud of gas, gravity should be losing its grip way out there. Those stars, they should be flying off into the void. Something invisible with a ton of gravity has got to be holding them all together. Then, when you zoom out, you see that galaxies aren't just scattered around randomly. No, they're arranged in these colossal filaments and sheets that surround these enormous empty voids. It looks just like a cosmic spiderweb woven across billions of light years. But what force could possibly be powerful enough and precise enough to sculpt this incredible tapestry? And then, there's this beautiful little oddity. Shell galaxies. Some of these elliptical galaxies are surrounded by these faint, perfectly nested shells of stars. Now, the standard explanation is that they're the chaotic debris from a smaller galaxy getting torn apart and eaten. But how does a messy, violent collision end up producing such a serene and symmetrical pattern? It just doesn't quite add up. This quote from UC Berkeley's Chung Pei Ma just captures this paradigm-shifting idea so perfectly. What if everything we see is just tracing the outline of something we can't see? What if there's an invisible blueprint, a template that was there first, setting the stage for everything else? And that is exactly where J. Alford's theory comes in. He proposes that these aren't separate puzzles we have to solve one by one. No, he argues they are all just different symptoms of a single underlying physical reality, a universe that is shaped and governed by dark plasma. So what in the world is dark plasma? Well, Alfred isn't suggesting that dark matter is just some cold, passive stuff that only interacts through gravity. He's theorizing it's a dynamic, self-interacting plasma, you know, a soup of charged particles, a lot like the ordinary plasma that makes up our sun, but it's playing by its own unique set of rules. Now, J. Alfred's theory really hinges on this one key difference. Dark plasma has a weaker electric charge. Now, that might sound like a small detail, but trust me, it has enormous consequences. It means that unlike an ordinary plasma, where opposite charges are desperate to find each other and neutralize, in the dark sector, positive and negative charges can separate way more easily and stay separated over vast cosmic distances and for a very, very long time. And this ability to maintain charge separation over these huge scales, well, it allows for something absolutely incredible. Enormous, invisible rivers of electricity flowing through the universe, shaping everything we see. Alfred calls these dark Birkeland currents. I want you to think of them as these immense rivers of dark plasma flowing along magnetic field lines, and they form a kind of cosmic electrical grid. We can't see them, we can't feel their electromagnetic effects directly, but they form the hidden scaffolding of the entire cosmos. And these currents, they aren't just passive. Their internal plasma dynamics naturally cause them to form nested, concentric shells and to rotate. And here is the absolute crucial point. As these invisible structures flow and spin, their immense gravity drags ordinary matter, the stuff we see, along for the ride. They are the puppet masters. Invisible matter is simply following their lead. This chart here really gives us a sense of scale for just how dominant this dark structure could be. In Alfred's model, a typical cosmic filament isn't mostly made of the matter we know. It is overwhelmingly dark plasma. Ordinary matter, the stuff that makes up you and me and the stars, is just a tiny fraction, around 15%. We are just passengers on these colossal dark structures. Okay, so we have this powerful theory of a dark plasma template. Now let's see how it holds up against those cosmic mysteries we started with. Let's put it to the test. So how do you build a galaxy in this model? Well, it starts with one of these dark currents flowing through space. 
as it flows, its own magnetic field pinches it inward, and that compresses the dark plasma into a dense, self-contained magnetic bubble, what scientists call a plasmoid. This plasmoid then creates a massive gravitational well, and that pulls in ordinary matter from all around, which then collapses to form the galaxy that we see. And here's the really elegant part. The physics of plasma, specifically a principle called the Hall effect, it naturally causes a current to swirl when it moves through a magnetic field. This means that rotation isn't some accident. It is a built-in feature of how these dark plasma structures form. The galaxy just inherits its spin from the dark current that created it in the first place. This brings us right back to those fast-moving outer stars. In this model, it's not just a big, dumb halo of dark matter holding things together. Instead, the rotating dark plasma structure generates a kind of tension that counteracts gravity's normal falloff with distance. It basically forces the entire system of stars to rotate more like a solid disk, keeping those outer stars moving at high speed. And what about those eerily perfect shell galaxies? Well, instead of being the messy leftovers of a collision, Alfred's theory proposes a much more orderly explanation. The shells aren't debris at all. They are simply visible matter that has settled into a pre-existing, invisible mold of nested dark plasma shells that were already there, sculpted by those dark currents. And this template model neatly explains why the shells are so symmetrical and why they last so long, and why we often see so many perfectly nested layers. It even has an explanation for truly bizarre observations, like stars in the same galaxy spinning in opposite directions. They're just following the gravitational pull of different dark plasma currents that happen to be counter-rotating. It just works. So when you put all of these pieces together, the implication of J. Alfred's theory is, well, it's profound. It suggests we need to fundamentally rethink what we're looking at when we gaze out at the cosmos. And this leads us to the theory's most powerful takeaway. What we see as galaxies and filaments and cosmic structures, they might not be the cause of the universe's structure, but merely the effect. They are just the visible matter, like sprinkles of glitter, tracing the contours of a much larger, more dynamic, and completely invisible dark plasma universe. And this isn't some new idea for J. Alfred. He's been developing this for years, arguing, and this is in his own words, that the presence of shells around galaxies suggests its plasma state, strong evidence that dark plasma is involved. For him, these shells aren't a puzzle, they're the proof. So this leaves us with a fascinating final thought. If a theory like this is even close to correct, and our entire universe is just the visible froth on an unseen ocean of dark plasma, it forces us to ask a really big question. What other fundamental structures and dynamics are shaping our reality, completely hidden from our view?